Mr. Speaker, thank you for this opportunity. I, um, I rise uh, to speak to the Land Transport Amendment Bill. And I want to just pick up where um, uh, the member who's just resumed his chair um, finished perhaps with not as much creepiness, but, well, you know, you know Mr. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, when, 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 when I look at these kinds of bills, right, these amendment bills, and I always get a little concerned when you read miscellaneous amendments. People think that it's just some little minor things that will just, will just sneak in the back door and people won't yeah, really pay too much attention yeah. to it, and we'll just brush it off as miscellaneous. But if you have a good, hard look at the details, Mr. Speaker, uh, and the member who, um, um, for Hunua has just spoken to some of those, there actually are quite a lot in there. And I do think it's an important opportunity for the Select Committee to do um, uh, due diligence, if you like, through this bill, to make sure that they aren't just um, uh, miscellaneous, uh, tagged on into other parts of the bill, where, once again, the wool is being pulled over too many people's eyes. So I look forward to that, and I want to reiterate that point, Mr. Speaker, miscellaneous. It's just too common uh, to find in a lot of the bills from this government where they just try and sneak stuff in through the back door. Mr. Speaker, we support this bill to the Select Committee. The fine members from the Labour benches on that Select Committee will be sure to debate, will be sure to listen to those stakeholders um, with, in relation to this bill. And one of those important ones, Mr. Speaker, has been mentioned today uh, during this debate. And it's the police. And I just happened to be sitting here next to the spokesperson, Mr. Stuart Nash, uh, for police. And I look across the House. Mr. Jamie Lee Ross, we understand, has a bill um, about window wipers and about allowing um, uh, window washers, sorry. And I think about the busy road in my electorate of Great South Road. And I wonder, with that particular bill, and some of the provisions in this bill, just how are the police going to find time to go to every intersection on Great South Road? And let me, let me tell you, Great South Road is a very, very big road. In fact, from Tāmaki Makoto all the way down to Hamilton. Busy intersections all the way. Now they're going to be keeping an eye out for window washers. Now they're going to be having to um, enforce many of the parts in this bill. And it goes to what my colleague, Mr. Um, Lees Galloway, was saying, is how are they going to do that? Where are they going to get the resources? How are they going to find the time to make sure that the legislation, uh, the bills passed in this House, actually mean something out there to the people? Because we do support some of the things about making sure that the roads are safer making sure that uh, when whanau and, and people are driving um, on the roads about their daily business, they can be um, a safe in the fact of knowing that they're going to be safe on the road. And I think about a particular place just south of Whangarei, Mr. Speaker, who in the past, or we are sorry, in the past six months have had no less than eight truck crashes. Eight in the past six months on this one spot on State Highway 1. And, Mr Speaker, I wonder then, when we look at this particular bill, how can we, how, how can we improve the safety on our roads? And this side of the House, or certainly myself and my colleagues on this side, would argue that while we, in, we welcome some of the provisions around tightening up uh, heavy loads on trucks, what we actually want to see is something more comprehensive, seems to be the catchword nowadays, more comprehensive to make sure that we can still meet the demands of transport, freight transport, but also keeping the interests of your everyday road user in mind, making sure that safety is paramount. Eight truck crashes, heavy truck crashes, um, uh, Mr Speaker, and half of those, thank God, no other vehicle was involved. But for the other half, there were serious injuries. Serious injuries for the other road user. Not for the heavy truck driver, who, with a heck of a lot of um, cargo and uh, in control or in command of a very large vehicle, sustained some minor injuries. Sadly, on half of those occasions, the driver in the other vehicle didn't fare as well. So we want to make sure that 
the bills that we pass through this House have that in mind. Safety must be paramount. Mr Speaker, there are, as other members have spoken about in the House, other parts of this bill, um, such as uh, the uh, vehicle uh, locking device um, for uh, uh, recidivist uh, uh, drink drivers. I think that's a good thing. Keeps in, in line or uh, up to step with um, technology. It's been a little bit late coming. Um, I can recall um, when I first got in, into the House here, sir, um, members of the public were crying out for this kind of technology. It's been around for a long time. Um, so we, 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 we commend the government for taking this step, but we do ask, why did it take so long? How many, um, and since the time where I first started hearing the cries for this particular piece of technology, technology to be utilised, how many uh, have fallen victim uh, to drink drivers on the road since then to now? So we, we, support, uh, I, we support that particular um, clause, Mr Speaker. Um, I do now want to talk about um, some of those um, miscellaneous, and I want to get back to them here, miscellaneous, no less than a dozen in this particular bill, sir. And um, <coughs> some of them, they talk about uh, uh, just simple things like digitalising um, some of the functions uh, for licensing and a few other things. Those make sense to me. But I can tell you, as a member of the public who quite enjoys going online and paying for things online and instead of walking into the post office, um, I wonder if the public will... It says here, allowing recovery of bank charges associated with payments by credit card. Uh, people say that's miscellaneous, but, you know, for those of us who use our credit cards more and more, we're going online to do these types of transactions. Um, it's important that... Uh, the public get to know about those things, and it's not just a simple miscellaneous um, uh, matter pushed through in this particular bill, sir. I want to now draw our attention, sir, to the um, uh, fair fleeing. Um, the member from the Greens uh, talked about up to $2 million um, being lost um, in those, uh, from those people who actually skip paying a fare on public transport in uh, Tamaki Makoto in particular. Where um, this government crows about how great the public transport network is, but I can tell you it's actually not that great. Beside the point, Mr. Speaker, um, I think it's a good thing, but once again, just like the infringements um, and the enforcement requirements of the police, we ask the same question Who's going to do that? How exactly are the people um, in, put in charge of, of, of fulfilling this particular duty that's um, prescribed in this bill? How are they? going to make sure that they can carry out their duty? Or are we simply wasting our time? Will we continue to see more of it uh, and people getting away with it, despite passing through this House a legislation that will, make, that will supposedly smack those people on the hand? Make sure that they don't do that again. Sadly, sir, I don't believe uh, the resources are put in place so that this bill is actually something meaningful for the people, uh, for the public, for the general public. There are some good parts in it, Mr Speaker. We do look forward to the debate, and I do take exception uh, from the uh, member for Hunua's comments about my colleagues and our role on the um, Select Committee, because um, my experience in the short time I've been on that Select Committee has been that, in fact, we're the hardest working members in there, and we make sure that this government is listening. Kia ora, Mr Speaker. Good speech.